I released a couple of videos recently about how you can plan and run your cables for your extension electrics yourself and I was a little surprised at the reaction from some of the comments. I may have stirred things up because shock horror, uh, I'm giving information about how an electrician will approach your house extension project and where you as a self builder or project manager carry out the first fix electrical part of your project yourself working alongside a certifier who you will pay to provide the final test and certificate. Now some of the comments were a little condescending. I welcome any criticism of my videos and I would never delete them. Unfortunately YouTube did delete the ones that used such foul language uh, between a couple of these electricians bickering between each other as well as insulting me in the process. But most of these comments look like they came from what I call the electrician's police telling me I should be banned, that it's notifiable work, part P, and that, oh my goodness, there could be catastrophic consequences. I mean, would you mess about with a gas main? Now, I love receiving all comments, including the critical and negative ones, because it enables self-builders and novices to get a feel for the issues and complications with dealing with tradespeople. However, it's clear most of these critics haven't even watched the videos through and you realise that perhaps these types are part of the problem rather than part of the solution. The purpose of these videos on YouTube is to explain and give a big overview, sort of cradle to grave type thing to the process of home construction and the various trades, designer, legislation and completion, even funding I'll get to at one point for self-builders to decide what to tackle and what to contract out. Electrics is part of that process, like it or not. Throughout all my videos the requirement for involving a registered tester and certifier is mentioned and even during the first fix where no power is present I mentioned it. I guess none of these amazing experts and electrician police noticed that bit if they had, they would have seen me going through in painstaking detail the requirements for your building warrant applications, how the notification process works in those circumstances, along with all the other things you need to consider. Now, I think the comment fell into three categories. The first is the favourite. You will die and your house will burn down if you don't use a certified electrician. I mean... Don't you know that electricity can kill? The second is that you are breaking the law and you're going to prison. Part P. Part P. If you don't use a certified electrician, your house insurance is void and basically your life as you know it is going to end. And the third and funniest, since I think the irony is completely missed, even if you do ask me to certify it, I'm not going to, and that's that. I don't certify anyone else's work, and anyone who does, they're a bad electrician. All three of these points are nonsense, especially given throughout my videos, I explain when and where to involve the certifier. I know my audience, they're here specifically because they will prepare well. Points one and two are, are not really worth talking about, they're so obvious, but let's turn specifically to this point three, where these lovely tradesmen are apparently refusing to certify anyone's work. And let's assume they are indeed qualified and certified. Now, if you're not here in the UK, I apologize about laboring this point but there are two types of inspections relevant to this type of project, EIC and EICR. There's also a minor work certificate and there's the completion certificate that goes with the building regulations. These regulations tend to evolve and I might have missed some. I think these are the ones relevant to these types of projects, but do check with your verifier and or leave a constructive comment. I might make a video on this certification since it's a jargon heavy topic, but that's for another day. I'm talking about house extensions and attic extensions, and these already require a building warrant application and therefore are automatically notified per part P as you make the building warrant application. A certifier's formal test and certificate is then required 
at completion. And this is a sensible change of legislation for the requirement of testing by a registered tester from a recognised body. A welcome and necessary addition to the regulations and one which I fully supported. In terms of an unqualified person doing such electrical work, the regulations are clear and unambiguous. Any installers which are not registered with a competent person scheme are required to get work signed off by a registered third party. The process for a self-builder of how to do this is exactly what has been explained in my videos by working with a certifier from the start. So please stop misleading folks with your comment in about it being illegal. I deliberately made the click baity thumbnail with Skip the Electrician to bring the scaremongering and trolling to the fore. I see it on all the forums and Facebook groups from the electrician's police in order to illustrate to self-builders what the obstacles are from a small but very vocal group of aggressive anonymous commentators on these platforms such as YouTube. Platforms where people go for information for their build projects to understand the process warning people about the risks whilst providing the solutions to the questions being posed is the way forward and in my experience of certifying projects the very best wiring is usually done by self-builders working under their registered certifier's eye because of the additional care and rigour that they apply to their own homes alongside the advice they get from their electrician and I won't sugarcoat it some of the worst wiring I've inspected, and I have inspected and certified a lot of properties over the years. Some of the worst has indeed been done by electricians. And no wonder self-builders want to own or take back some of the process, given the escalating cost and the lack of available tradesmen at the moment. Now you are saying you won't test or certify someone else's work, and that's up to you, no one is forcing you. Personally, I will involve good tradesmen and certifiers at the start, as I mentioned and design the system with them and I will pay them for the process to you the electrical police frankly it is your loss to lose out on the work and my pleasure you're not involved no can do tradesmen do not belong on any construction project and definitely never on mine they drag everyone down with them let's talk a bit more about these comments saying you Mr Electrician will refuse to certify others work certification and inspection of domestic electrical installations not carried out by the actual certifier in the UK is done all the time and I know because I was involved in the scheme as it is inception and you're just misleading people by insisting you would never go near it for example issuing an EICR certificate for rental properties is done literally thousands of times each week by thousands of different electricians where the existing wiring routes are all concealed behind existing walls and that's why we have circuit protection and testing equipment none of them say no to carrying out these tests and other people's wiring and none of them are pulling plaster off the walls for some companies this certifying and testing is all they do in places with high concentrations of HMO and Airbnb rental properties. To the unhappy electricians out there, I can only guess the real reason you're slagging off my videos and with inaccurate information is because you don't like the idea of having your trade explained. And let's try to be positive, you should be happy. The more people that understand your process, the work and skill involved, the time to train, the more they will respect and value an electrician's work and the more they will be prepared to commit and pay for your services, especially given the lack of electricians to meet the demand. If I were you, I would be delighted to be paid to spend my day on sizing and cable run routes, avoiding the dirty and sometimes loss leading first fix work which instead is done by the self builder and you just come in and visual inspect and then wire and test at the end and everybody wins. We need to encourage people to understand the build process and especially what Part P means in plain English rather than use the aggressive rhetoric used by some of the commentators here. The idea that the good electricians cannot understand or are unprepared to see why well-informed self-builders might want to get involved with this, well, 
I don't believe it. On the contrary, good ones understand exactly what and why the, the problem exists and they make an opportunity out of it as a result. The remaining minority, what can you do? I hope this is helpful. I hope you see where I'm coming from. And if you do, hit me a like. And to all of you, thanks again for taking the time to comment. And please leave a comment on this video. I'll see you again.